Hey boss, how's it going? Uh, a lot of people have been asking me about the railgun. People have been trying to make their own that have having problems. I had a lot of problems actually with the frames when I made mine. So first of all, I'm going to start there and quickly explain how to how to go about making one of these, how to make sure it works and everything so you don't have issues. First off, the big tip with these frames is to build a piece and then make sure it moves then build onto it, make sure that moves. You want to keep checking it as you build on it. You don't want to build the whole thing. Try to move it, it doesn't move, and then you start picking it apart and you'll never find the piece. So, uh, the thing you have to know about these frames. The frames will pull anything with them. They're like sticky pistons. They will stick on to whatever block is next to them. So like this one here with this arm block on top of it, it will pull that wherever it goes. Now if you don't want the block to move, what you can do is just put on a cover. All these, what you see here, they're all covers. The cover do is prevented from interacting with the block next to it, basically. So if there was a block here, let's just say I put this here, with the cover there, this frame won't pull this block away from it. The thing about it is, if, if you try to move the frames back this way, it doesn't push if there's a cover there as well. So you may think this block is attached here when in fact there's a cover underneath it preventing the whole thing from moving basically. This one block will prevent the whole gun from going to the right. It's things like that you gotta watch out for. So you want to build it, like I said, one bit at a time and move it, cover what you need to cover. Download my map and, and take a look at how I gotta build piece by piece if you want to know how like which block goes where but make sure you put the covers where I have the covers just so nothing sticks on and the things that are supposed to stick on do stick on like underneath all these blocks there's no covers they they all stick on to the frames they're on same with the lights there, there's no covers there because they need to stick on right here you can see in from behind those lapis they're just covers there's no covers here it's just an iron block attached on you also can't put two blocks. It will only move one block. So now the next thing, it all moves on the motors. But there's two sets of motors. And when you move the first set, you need to also move the stick that the second set moves along with it. The key to that is not having covers on the bottom of this this whole thing doesn't have covers anywhere underneath it. That's so these frames will grip it even when they move because of these motors. Or sorry, these motors will grip it even when moved by these motors. That's the key to that there. There has to be no covers underneath any of this in order for those motors to pull it when they move by these ones. Okay, and at the same time you notice there is a frame here right underneath these ones with no covers on. You're thinking that's going to stick on. The key is having a cover on the top of this block but not on the bottom of these. So just cover this one and it will not stick. Despite the fact that these want to stick onto this one, the cover on one prevents them both from sticking together. And so for the wiring, you you would think they're covers underneath these or just blank frames. The, the wiring and things won't go on blank frames. They will go on covers, but like I said, the covers don't pull anything. You need to put panels underneath them. The panels will pull whatever is attached to them. So you put the panels there and you put the wiring and things on the panels. And that will pull. Now look, there's two stacked here, so the key is making it in the right shape so that there's two frames here. This is pulled by this frame, this is pulled by this frame. It's not that the one frame underneath or anything is pulling, trying to pull both of them. It won't work. Only one block. That's the key. So that's about it for the frames. The rails are pretty simple. It's just explosive detectors, so it's only TNT that will get accelerated up. Booster rails on top to do the accelerating sends it up into place. The holding tracks will hold it in place until it receives the signal. These uh, gates here are actually completely unnecessary, but Duncan has them in his own, so that's the way I have done it. 
like I said, completely unnecessary, and then it's just the jumper tracks on the variable launcher stick thing. So that's the rails. It's pretty simple. The launchers, you put them on, you click them with a crowbar to select the distance they need to be powered. That's why the levers are there. These wireless, actually, again, if those if you don't put the gates in place completely unnecessary you can also just put booster rails there and leave the wireless in and it will work just great in order to load it you just put the cart here push it put the cart there and push it it will go on up I don't have the loading put in yet because it is different different mods for feed to be so it would have to work differently I want the map to be the same for now and if people are having problems with the computer with the programming or with the wiring aspect Duncan does a great job in his own videos I mean he explains the frames and that as well but it's just a more condensed version but he does a great job with the computers and the wiring as well so just watch his videos if you're still having problems, just let me know, and I will make a video for that as well. But uh, other than that, I uh, hope, hope that solves all the problems, and have a good one.